Hello friends, welcome to techguru.cloud. Today in this video, we are going to see fully automated Jenkins installation using Ansible. If you're not familiar with the basic understanding of Ansible and Jenkins, I've already covered these topics in two separate videos and I have added the link for those in the description field. Now let's start with Ansible playbook for Jenkins installation. I've already have a playbook created for this video. So instead of writing it during this video, let's directly go to the files one by one. So for simplicity, I have created a directory called as sample playbook and I have placed all the files in this directory. This is an optional step and you can place all these files in any directory. So the first file is site.yaml. This is a top level file for Jenkins installation playbook, which includes the roles and also defines the hosts on which this playbook needs to be run. So in this example, we are going to run this playbook on localhost. So that is the reason I have mentioned localhost here. If you want to run the playbook on any other host, you have to place the host name of that host here instead of localhost and make sure that you have passwordless SSH enabled between the two machines. Next is roles. The actual tasks that are going to be executed are grouped in roles. So create a roles directory parallel to the site.yaml file. In here, the name of our role is Jenkins. You can name it anything, but you need to make sure that this name and the name of the directory under roles is matching. So it should be same. We have created Jenkins here and Jenkins is referred here. Now let's see the files inside the Jenkins directory. Inside Jenkins, create a tasks directory. Tasks contains the list of tasks to be executed by the role. Inside tasks, create a main.yaml file. This is the main file which Ansible will refer during the execution of the playbook. So this is the list of all the tasks. Newer version of Jenkins has a prerequisite of Java 8. So in this first task, we are installing Java 8. And because we are going to run this on a Red Hat server, we are using the Ansible's YUM module. Next is name. So here we have to specify the name of the package that we have to install. You can directly specify the name of the package here, but instead of hard coding it, I have variableized it and the value of this variable is present in the main.yaml file in the vars directory. So here we are using openjdk8. For state, there can be two options, latest or present. And since we are using, we are already providing the version here, let's make it as present. After this task, once Java is installed, we need to make sure that we have changed the alternatives to point it to the correct version of Java. So this is the task to do that. And similar to the Java version, we have variableized this as well. So the next tasks are to download the Jenkins repo yum URL for Red Hat and to import the GPG keys. Now these, just like yum, the alternatives, get URL and RPM key, these are all Ansible modules. And for more information on the available modules, you can see the Ansible documentation as well. Once the repo and the GPG key is available, the next step is to install Jenkins using the yum module. So technically at this point, Jenkins installation should be complete. But in the newer version of Jenkins, for security reasons, Jenkins community have included a security setup wizard, which will ask you to copy and paste a pre-generated password from the server. This is how the page looks. So to avoid this manual step and to continue with the further configuration, here we are disabling this setup wizard by changing the Java options in the etc sysconfig Jenkins file. And for this, we are using the line in file Ansible module. 
Now the next step is to start the Jenkins service and enable it on boot. So here all the tasks that are required are completed. Now let's run this playbook on the server. Now I have, I have logged into the server, cd to the directory and we are going to run the playbook here. So the command is ansible playbook and site.yaml. So now the Ansible playbook execution has successfully completed. Let's see if Jenkins is up and running on the web UI. So Jenkins by default runs on port 8080 and yes, the dashboard is up and running. So you can see here we have successfully skipped the security setup wizard. Further to this, you can also add tasks in the playbook for other Jenkins configurations like installing plugins, etc. And I have uploaded this playbook on GitHub and details are in the description. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe.